Zechariah and Elizabeth were a godly couple, and they longed to have children. But they were well advanced in years. That dream had died long ago. And then one day an angel suddenly appeared and, and startled Zechariah and told him that Elizabeth was going to have a child. And they were to call his name John. John the Baptist would be the one who would prepare the way for Jesus. When John was born, Zechariah broke out in a song of, of praise. And here's what he proclaimed. Luke chapter 1, 68 and 69. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he has visited and redeemed his people and raised up, ready, a horn of salvation. He raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. In his song, it's interesting that Zechariah calls Jesus the coming Messiah, born in the, in, in, in the line of David. He calls him a horn of salvation. A horn of salvation. What does that mean? Well, the word horn refers to the horn of an animal. Uh, when it refers to the horn of an animal in the Bible, it always indicates great strength. In Deuteronomy uh, 33, 17, describes the strong horns of a wild ox. Psalm uh, 22, 21, David, David prays to be saved from the horns of the wild oxen. Micah, the prophet, describes the power as horns of iron. Well, Jesus is the horn of salvation. Jesus, fully God, fully man, is the only one who died on the cross for our sins, the only one who could die on the cross for our sins. He's the only one who could conquer death so that we could follow him in resurrected life. He's the only one who has the power to save. The, the horn of salvation means that Jesus has the power to save. Lord Jesus, thank you for that. Thank you that you left heaven itself. You came to this earth to die on the cross for our sins. You're the only one who has the power to save. We thank you that you did that just for us. And we want to follow hard after you all the days of our life. We pray in your name. Amen. Horn of salvation. Jesus has the power to save. And he has the power not only to save us, but to give us everything we need to do, allow us to do whatever he's calling us to do. I don't know what God's calling you to do today, but I know this. He'll give you the power to do it. Hey, thanks for joining us today on the journey.